This is January 2002. We're going to be blessed by the presence of Congressman Houghton. Here we are, ready to go on to phase two. This is what the Congressman or maybe Governor will be saying today. The gold room, which has been used frequently for as our interview room. Here's a case which exhibits Robert H. Jackson's masonry career. This is the 33rd degree jewel which was presented to Jackson. Sword, case, hat, and Bible. Right. The taken uh, in the name of a, a famous politician, sure, sure. but yeah. but you know, as we left, uh, Frank McAman, who used to run the Gerald Ford Library and went back to run the Dirksen Center, uh, he said, you know, we had a problem as the persona of Dirksen faded. It was more difficult to to do certain things. We had to find a mission. Uh, but he said, uh, in the case of Jackson, he, Jackson, he said, you know, his ideas seem to be getting younger, even though the personas faded, you know what I mean? So I think what we're going to have to focus on more are these ideas, their relevance to different situations going forward, because it still is the foundation and the bedrock to what's happening in international law in, in these areas. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, he was willing to give up the life he could have had for Congress. <laughs> He says, at least I can do it and be his county chairman. But he says, don't ask me to stay out any longer than that. Well, you know, <laughs> but I thought you ought to know that, you know. Well, he's a good guy. Yeah. He's done a great job. He's, he's got, got great credit. Me too. No, that's not bad. Yeah, so, so I'm just trying, you know, she's, she's coming along. I'm going to just like yeah. chances. Yeah, everything all right here, family? Yep, everything's good. How's Big Dave? He's good. Is he's he? Good, yep. Yeah. Uh,